on the industrial side, definitely. Just looking um, there now, there is a certain amount of uh, ease in the in the price of this favourite, and I must say I'm not at all surprised. Now, Sarafina is now has gone from odds on now to around six to four against, coupled with um, her stable companion. Midday and Saruska look like being the last two to come in. There's Midday, two of the UK-based. How much you know that the nerves communicate themselves to the horse, but she's a little bit reluctant, Saruska, to go in. But she got in, and they're all out. And the only one slightly slowly away was Sarah Lynx in the background. And indeed, Sheila is the first one to go on. Look at that. She's stayed there. She's not there. Sariska, I'm just going to look back, but she's not. I can't see her. Anyway, they're passing us now. Let's get on with the race. So Sheila by two and a half lengths. Plumania races a clear second. Close behind these, then comes in uh, third place, Lady's Purse. After these, towards the inside, Midday is prominent. On the outside, Plumania blue with the white cap. Towards the rear of the field at the moment is Dariol, but it's a Sheila. And also the favorite is fourth from last on the outside, Green, uh, with the white nose band. But a Sheila takes them along from Plumania, two lengths back in second. Then comes in third, Ladies' Purse, Sheikh Mohammed's colours. Close behind these towards the outside, midday, the pink cap is four. In five, Pantio Rare, the blue colours on the outside, and this one followed then uh, by Sarah Lynx, and also racing towards the rear is Dariol. So they start the turn at the top of the hill, not yet at halfway in the pre verme No great pace on, Ashila making the running, and Ashila shows just in front. Dariol right at the rear of the field, with Enora still at the rear, but racing wide off the bend, Ashila by two lengths from Plumania, racing a clear second. In third is Lady's Purse, uh, three or four lengths clear of midday in four. In five comes a Pantio Rare behind Pantio Rare, high heeled in mid division, the white colours. And then comes uh, uh, Sarafina, the favourite, just ahead of Never Forget. And then after these, Enora and at the rear of the field, Dariol. So they're racing down now towards the turn into the straight. 500 metres to go from here. Still a Sheila. No great gallop on. Plumania two lengths back in second. Then comes in third. Ladies' Purse is third. And then after these, midday being ridden along in four. And then after these, on the outside of High Heeled, who's on the inner, on the outside of that one, Pantua Rare. Sarafina not been asked a question yet, but they've only got uh, 250 metres to race from here. And a Sheila being tackled now by Plumania. Here comes midday. Sarafina's got a lot to do. She's going to get anywhere. But it's Plumania from midday. They're ahead of a Sheila, and here comes Sarafina with a great run towards the outside. They've got 100 metres to go. Sarafina can't get there, but it's midday. Midday from Plumania. Sarafina, a Sheila, and also right in the heat with those is Sarah Lynx, and way behind the others then. Never forget uh, with a Nora uh, right pretty well tailed off. Well, a disappointing uh, Sarafina, and again, I don't like making uh, comments about jockeys, but they went no pace, and I thought two or three of these were give, given a bit too much to do, including Sarafina. Midday, the winner. What do you, what do you make of that, uh, William? What's your assessment? Well, it was certainly a terrific ride from Tom Queed. He had this filly in the right place the whole way, and, uh, well, it was pretty straightforward for her, wasn't it, really? I mean, when she, uh, she breezed into the lead, and that was it. I mean, nothing actually looked as though it was going to close, and her plumania had been the one... Uh, the one that uh, that had gone first, but um, uh, you could tell at uh, the, the 200 meter mark which of the which of the pair was going best. Now then you had uh, Sarafina making her move towards the outside, but you know we have to say it um, just because she's won all her three races. You know, she's not, hasn't proved herself to be an absolute champion yet. Okay, she'd won the Prix de Diane. This was a much, much tougher test. 